All right. Here we go. <laughs> Do this TV news cut? thing doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to Broadway. Fun, uh, fun day though. Huh? That's right. Hudson uh, may be running away with the circus, or at least running the way uh, with a West End hit. Uh, the sounds of Stomp filled Greater Victoria today. Performers from the New York uh, hit made multiple stops today, celebrating the possibilities of percussion. And it all began this morning at Oak Bay High School. You know, it's infectious that we, it's, music is all around us. We walk in rhythm, we talk in rhythm, our hearts beat in rhythm. And so there's, you know, just whenever anybody sees a the show, they, they walk outside and they hear a horn beep, you know, from the car. And, beep, beep. Turn signal, you then you add the bass, you you know? So it just, people will take this music all around us, there's music in everything. Students were even invited to join four members of the eight-person cast and create music together. Stomp performers have earned acclaim around the world for making music from domestic and industrial objects. And this afternoon, when they headed to the atrium in downtown Victoria, they demonstrated how to make music from materials they found around the office building. The event was hosted by CFAX 1070 and 1073 Cool FM. And we had a wonderful turnout today. So many people showed up, which was great. And they were treated to a, a wonderful show. And they're going to uh, be here in the summer as well, the full cast. Yeah, that week-long run will happen at the Royal Theatre in Victoria beginning August 27th. Details available at broadwayinvictoria.com. And after this event, the Stompers taught a master class for Dance Victoria's Dance Days. Well, uh, the world's best music uh, being celebrated at the Grammy Awards this weekend, and that includes talent connected to Vancouver Island. Carly Rae Jepsen, who trained at the Canadian College of Performing Arts in Oak Bay, is up for two major pop prizes, and she says the nominations have made her giddy like a schoolgirl. So I literally squealed and danced around my kitchen, and I couldn't stop. And I was on the phone with my parents. And I felt like I was going to cry. I didn't cry, but I was, I was close. This is crazy. If the Song of the Year Grammy goes to anyone other than Carly Rae Jepsen, I'm going to have a problem with it. Hey, I just met you. This song was so good that everyone from sort of traveling baseball teams to Muppets could sing it and make it sound really compelling. Jepsen's Call Me Maybe is up for Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance. The 27-year-old is not the only nominee with an island connection. The local producers of this Tegan and Sarah DVD are also up for a Grammy. Victoria's Nick Blasco and Pierce Henwood are nominated for Best Long Form Video. The, the arts aren't about comparisons and awards, but it is nice at the end of the day to be acknowledged for your work, and especially as a manager, our job is somewhat invisible behind the scenes, so in, the, in this case, Nick and I did actually co-produce this DVD, so we're actually named nominees, so that, that's a big honor for us. The DVD involves three different parts. It's basically three documentaries that we, we wanted to have more of a historical look at the girl's career uh, put together into one DVD. This is so not what it's like to record a real album. Obviously, uh, to be nominated beside bands like U2 and Mumford and & Sons and, and, you know, very big global bands, it, it's neat. Unexpected, but very neat. And Drake is the Canadian with the most Grammy nominations. The Toronto hip-hop musicians vying for best rap album, rap song, and rap performance. Some of the other Canuck contenders, Michael Bublé, Lorena McKinnett, Arcade Fire, and Dead Mouse. The editorial director of Billboard, though, says the American to beat is Frank Ocean. You can have some success selling records, and you can you know, make music that is really critically acclaimed. I think that makes you a, a strong and, and potent threat to win a Grammy. Ocean is tied for the most nominations overall with Kanye West, Jay-Z, Mumford & Sons, Dan Orbach of the Black Keys, and Fun, all competing in five categories. The 55th Annual Grammy Awards will be handed out on Sunday in Los Angeles. Well, musicians uh, from Victoria also being recognized by the 2012 International Songwriting Competition. A reaction, a reaction from Acres Alliance, uh, one of more than 1,800 semi-finalists from around the world. The band's being recognized for this song, Reaction. Some of the other local bands are The Archers and Steph McPherson. Oh, and there are... McPherson has beat out uh, more than 20,000 submissions for a semi-final spot. The goal of the contest is to get songs heard in an international arena. Miriam Stonsonis from Sweet Lowdown, also a contender, along with Michael Wood and Amy Wood. Yeah, 
Woodsong Symphony could help her win some of the $150,000 worth of prize money up for grabs. The Victoria nominees will find out if they win, or at least go a step further in the competition in April.